What's up guys, Sir All About Music here, bringing you another requested album review, and this request comes from Mon McCool123, who I haven't seen around in a while. Where are you, Mon McCool? I miss you. Anyway, he asked me to review the Jesus and Mary Chain's debut album, Psycho Candy. And the Jesus and Mary Chain, if you don't know, is a shoegaze, noise pop, dream pop kind of mixture, you know, thing um, that w they, they were around in the 80s and they arguably, Psycho Candy arguably spawned um, a, a large majority of, of the shoegaze bands that were around in the late 80s, arguably. Uh, and you know it, it, it's it's an iconic album as far as shoegaze goes. It was it was a huge shoegaze album, a huge advancement for shoegaze in general. Um, and you know, it, I don't know if shoegaze is too is is the right description for this album because this album is very very poppy. It is it is it's a pop album. In all, in all seriousness, it's a pop album. But these aren't typical pop songs. What the band does is they, they take, you know, what would be typical pop songs and they, they distort them. And I don't, I don't mean just a guitar distortion, but distorted in, in the sense that they're, they're twisted. You know, they're abnormal. They're, they're almost off-putting, but they're still pop songs. It's like weird pop, you know? So, so yeah, and then, and then there's a really really, really heavy influence from the Velvet Underground in this album. Like, ridiculous amount of influence from the Velvet Underground. Especially on songs like uh, The Living End and uh, Inside Me. Those those two songs, I think, I can, I mean, ooh, wow. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and, you know, what else can I say about this? It, it, it's really noisy, that's for sure. There, there's all sorts of strange distortions that get put on the guitars, and the vocals are rarely, if ever, if ever, just raw. There's some, there's always some sort of echo or delay or some other strange effect that's on on them. And in this, in this way, the album, you know, really keeps you listening. It gives you a lot to to latch onto, and you know think about and listen to in general um, it's not it's not straightforward in any manner at all except for its pop sensibility in that manner it's very it's very you know that kind of that kind of thing so yeah originality is you know somewhere in the high middle because of the velvet underground thing um, yeah somewhere in the middle high I like this album it's not one of my favorites, but I definitely enjoy it. Uh, you know, I, I listen to this album either either by itself to just kind of, you know, wind down or in conjunction with bands like the Pastels or the Vaselines or other shoegaze bands. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's how I like it. <coughs> the flow is, you know, great. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a pop album. So there's there's very little to, in, in, again in the in the pop sensibility, strictly speaking from the pop viewpoint of this album, there's very little to distract you, or very little that's forgettable. Um, all of it's really catchy, and even it, it can be catchy in a good way where you like it, or a bad way where it gets stuck in your head and you really hate it. Um, but either way, it's it, it it keeps you engaged from the pop sensibility. Um, so yeah, in that in that manner, it's it flows really well. I think there's a couple of hiccups every every now and then, just because of of the overbearing influence of the Velvet Underground. Sometimes gets a little old. They don't or they don't do enough with it to really push it forward or give it something new. Um, just a couple of times, so yeah, just little hiccups here and there in the flow. But other than that, yeah, it's really got nothing. Production. If this was not a shoegaze album, if this was not a Mary and Jesus Chain album, I would say that the production sucks balls. I would say that it's terrible. But because it's a shoegaze album, because it's a Jesus and Mary Chain album, 
and there's a certain production style and sound that's associated with with the, that movement and this band. The production is perfect for the sound, absolutely perfect for the sound. It, and it, it's it's actually akin to dream pop in a way where there's a lot of emphasis on the guitars and the vocals, and not so much emphasis on everything else. Drums are pushed way back. Um, and yeah, the guitars are really pushed forward a lot. Uh, the vocals are pushed forward, but they're a little behind the guitars sometimes. Sometimes they're, you know, right there with them, and then sometimes they're a little ahead. It varies from song to song. Um, but yeah, in that sense, it's very, very, you know, dream poppy style, production style. The only gripe that I have about this album is the the... The, the use of beats and a lot of these songs do the boom, 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 ch, boom, 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 ch thing, and that's all they do. And at least 50% of this album uses that kind of rhythmic, um, rhythmic tool. Now I understand that's a you know that's that's a pop beat that has a lot of that catches that's catchy. It draws people in, and you know there's a lot you can do with that specific rhythm. But it can get old listening to this album, just because it's overused, I think. Um, but that's really the only gripe I have. Uh, other than that, you know, I really don't have anything bad to say about Psycho Candy. It's a it's a pretty damn good album. It's a pretty damn good album, I gotta say. Um, this is. I don't know. I I find that their their later stuff becomes you know slowly darker and darker and more menacing, while still keeping the original noise pop, dream pop, shoegaze style. Um, this, yeah, I just find this album to be pretty bright, pretty bright compared to their their later stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's really the only other thing I gotta say about it. If you're into dream pop or shoegaze or really any. Any any genre of music that's even remotely attached to shoegaze or noise pop, I would definitely suggest checking these guys out because they're definitely worth it and they're pretty awesome. I gotta say, they're pretty they're pretty damn awesome. Um, but, 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 yeah, that's all I gotta say. Psycho Candy released 1985, I believe. Jesus and Mary Chain, awesome record. I could give this album solid nine out of ten. Yeah, by far. Easy 9 out of 10. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. So all about music, comment down there, and I will see you guys at the next requested album review. Later. <laughs>